webinars are actually about minimizing risk and taking the right risk. And I think the assumption that lawyers get all the time, particularly recovering lawyers, is that we're these incredibly risk averse people who can't possibly make a decision or do something that might not work out. And, you know, like with anything, that could be true for many people, regardless of your background. But lawyers are actually into minimizing risk and taking the right risk. So the reason I think it was so much easier for me to transition is I'd had so much practice working with my clients, lots and lots and lots of tech-based startups and helping their CEOs and founding teams go through decision frameworks on do we release? What do we do? We have an unhappy client. We can't make payroll. You know, there's an employment issue. All of these kinds of things and helping them think through the frameworks for that. So when I had to do it for myself and my own team, it was very familiar. And I also realized I've got plenty of ex-friends and colleagues I can call when I need a second opinion. And if I really feel like I need someone to play devil's advocate truly and give me the worst case scenario, frankly, better to have somebody else think of that than yourself because I've always been attuned to thinking of what is the best case scenario? What's the best thing that could happen. And when you balance that against the worst, you kind of realize that the best, hopefully, has a better chance of succeeding and your worst isn't as bad as you think it is.